Sarah. They used to conjure up scenes of wide open dusty deserts. Now apparently they're trendy. We're talking about cacti and succulents. Not only are the plants more popular now for those with green thumbs, but they're becoming part of home decor, even fashion. The actual plants themselves are part of a billion dollar industry across the US. That's according to the United States Department of Agriculture. Over the past four years, there's been a pretty big increase in the popularity for these thorny plants. That demand has led to people uprooting and stealing the plants and then selling them on a black market. Sarah Costa spoke with the president of the San Antonio Cactus and Succulent Society, who gives us some insight into this problem. Thorny, quirky, and they don't require too much water. Maybe it's why these plants are gaining popularity. A recent study found that sales of cactus and succulents have gone up by 64%. But that demand has led to new thorns in the industry side. Lots of young people come to these shows now that didn't come before. A recent article in The Guardian explains the growing problem in Saguaro National Park, where people are literally uprooting 100-year-old cacti out of the ground and selling them for lots of money. And that's a federal crime. Jimmy says the plants that are most likely getting poached are ones like this. It's a Sahoro. They're found in other parts of the country. And he says they're so sought after because they take decades to become full grown. This one right here that's only about three to four feet tall is only 15 years old. If you could manage to dig one up in the wild, that's a big plant, that's probably a five or $600 plant. Poaching runs a risk of certain species being endangered. They're incredibly slow growers, and there's just no ability for that plant to reproduce fast enough to overcome the rate at which it's being poached. And if these plants end up on the endangered species list, then that affects how our ecosystem flows. For The Nine, I'm Sarah Costa. Jimmy Black says that poaching is not a problem here locally. If you're wondering what the Cactus and Succulent Society does, they focus on re rescuing cacti that have been uprooted due to new road or home construction.